In a universe of infinite wonders and unfathomable mysteries, a simple yet powerful formula emerges as the key to understanding the very nature of existence. And equals m times c squared. These four simple characters represent much more than a mathematical formula. They are a portal to understanding the relationship between mass and energy, the beating heart of stars, and the force that powers the universe itself. Albert Einstein, a German physicist with wild hair and an unparalleled intellect, introduced this revolutionary formula at the beginning of the 20th century, challenging convention and transforming the way we see the world. His theory of special relativity, of which E equals M times C squared is a fundamental pillar, is not only a cornerstone of theoretical physics. It is a symbol of the human ability to transcend the limits of the known and touch the very essence of reality. On this journey, we will dive into the depths of this equation, but first let's understand what the symbols represent. And it represents energy. In physics, energy is the ability to do work, which manifests itself in different forms such as kinetic, potential, thermal and electromagnetic energy. This E tells us something deeper. Every mass contains an intrinsic energy, a potential hidden within its very existence. M stands for mass. Mass is often thought of as a measure of the amount of matter in an object. However, according to special relativity, mass is also a form of energy. When we think of mass in terms of E equals M times C squared, M is not simply the amount of matter, but rather a concentration of energy. C, finally, represents the speed of light in vacuum, which is approximately 300 million meters per second. Squaring this velocity in the context of the equation gives an incredibly large number, showing how a small amount of mass can be converted into an immense amount of energy. This conversion is the principle behind nuclear fusion in stars and nuclear fission in atomic weapons and nuclear reactors. But why the speed of light squared? In physics, kinetic energy, energy of motion, is traditionally expressed as half the mass multiplied by the velocity squared. Einstein extended this concept, suggesting that the speed of light squared represents a constant conversion between mass and energy. This equation is not just a product of his theory of special relativity, but a revelation that unites matter and energy into a single entity, with the speed of light serving as a transformation constant. This was revolutionary. Before Einstein, mass and energy were thought to be completely separate entities. He showed that even a small amount of mass can be converted into a huge amount of energy, as demonstrated by nuclear reactions in stars and, tragically, in atomic weapons. But where does all this take us? Einstein realized that if the speed of light is a constant, then mass and energy must be interchangeable. Mass can be converted into energy and vice versa, but this conversion is not arbitrary. It is governed by the speed of light squared, an extraordinarily large figure, which explains why a small amount of mass can release an enormous amount of energy. Now let's imagine ourselves in the fascinating and complex world of nuclear energy, revealing how and to what extent this equation manifests itself in reality. We will understand the difference between the energy released in nuclear processes and that of conventional chemical reactions, such as the burning of fossil fuels, and discover which materials are capable of releasing this extraordinary nuclear energy. The formula says that even a small amount of mass can be converted into a surprisingly large amount of energy. But how big? Let's take a concrete example. Suppose we convert one gram of mass into pure energy. According to Einstein's equation, the energy released would be approximately 90 terajoules, equivalent to approximately the energy consumed by 10,000 people in a year. This figure is staggering, especially when compared to the energy released by chemical reactions, such as burning wood or car fuel, which is infinitely smaller. In fact, not all materials are capable of releasing energy through nuclear processes. Fissile materials, such as uranium-235 and plutonium-239, are the few that can undergo effective nuclear fission. In a nuclear power plant, the nuclei of these elements are bombarded with neutrons. In the process of division, mass is lost, which is transformed into enormous amounts of energy. This is the chain reaction that underlies the Einstein equation. However, it is important to distinguish nuclear energy from energy produced by chemical reactions, such as combustion. 
Chemical reactions involve electrons in atoms and change the way atoms are bonded to each other. On the contrary, nuclear reactions involve the nuclei of atoms, and it is precisely inside the atomic nucleus that the main mass of matter is present. The amount of energy released in a nuclear reaction is many orders of magnitude greater than that of a chemical reaction because nuclear energy is tied to the mass of the nucleus itself. Not all elements are suitable for nuclear reactions that release energy. Elements such as uranium and plutonium have heavy, unstable nuclei, making them suitable for fission. In contrast, lighter or more stable elements cannot easily undergo such reactions. The choice of materials for nuclear fission is therefore guided by their ability to undergo these particular nuclear reactions and produce energy in a controlled way. In conclusion, E equals M times C squared opens a window into a world where the conversion of a tiny amount of mass can release enormous amounts of energy. This understanding has led to the creation of technologies such as nuclear reactors, but has also raised important ethical and safety questions. The understanding and responsible use of this powerful energy is one of humanity's most significant challenges in the 21st century. Thank you for accompanying us on this exploration. Don't forget to follow us on our channel for more fascinating adventures. Goodbye and see you next discovery.